Cassandra. There he is. I heard you coming, you know. I wasn't trying to sneak. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you. They've missed you. Rahmi doesn't earn itself, Darius. Natakas has things under control here. Adventure calls to people like us. For so long, my purpose was Persia. She was all I could see. But a parent's duty is not to their ambition. It's to their family, Cassandra. How's my boy? Oh, he's in terrible danger, Cassandra. Elpidios is missing. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're playing hide and seek. Again? You know, it was Natakas' favorite game too when he was Elpidios' age. How are they? We've been getting used to being in one place. It's harder than you think. Heard anything about the Order? Nothing, no news. After the Tempest, they've gone quiet. They're never quiet. Is Elbidius at the usual spot? <laughs> he loves that beach. Make sure you find the boy. I always do. After you, that is. Come, the beach is this way. You're still quite fast, Darius. Maybe you're just getting old. <laughs> I faced walls of flame. Skies black with arrows. And more beasts and blades than Heracles himself. But none match parenthood. It's a different kind of battle. You'll do fine, Cassandra. You are doing fine. Wherever could Elpidios be? Elpidios! Who is eh? Mother's coming to find you. This shipwreck looks like he can hide Elpidios in his potter. Let me take a look. Aha! Found you! Whoa! Isn't Mater a mighty Mystios? She will surely tell tales of this epic adventure for years to come. Don't forget to pay the Mystios for her heroic services. Ah, my usual rate. Welcome home. This is Elpidios' home. And I'm glad you're here for him, Natakas. My duty is still to this bloodline, and I couldn't have secured it without you. How's our littlest warrior? Been on more of your famous adventures, no doubt. Cyclops? Oh my! Huh? You slew how many Athenians? Impressive! You're putting Vrasidas' record to shame! <laughs> oh, stop! How have you been? Safe. Feeling safe. Relaxed. Except our little warrior's appetite keeps growing. Greedy boy. Darius sent me a note. Something about the celebration? We figured it was time for a little family gathering. And it's not a family gathering without a great feast. Elpidios and I will prepare the boar, won't we? <laughs> boar? That takes me back. Cassandra and I will go look for some shellfish. We'll have the fire ready by the cliff. 
See you later, little warrior. Darius seems happier with Impidius around. Grandchildren have a mysterious effect on people. But I'm surprised you can tell behind all that beard. What do you think Elpidius will be when he grows up? Business and spend his days mysteriousing across the Greek world? It's not a bad life. I've got a boat. A ship, even. This is a nice quiet spot. The pools are the perfect size for Elpidios. It's been a while since I had shellfish. So, do you think Elpidius looks more like me? More like you? We <laughs> should do for our feast. You might have left some for everyone else. <laughs> Let's head back to the cliff before Father returns. There's something I wanted to show you. The cliff is this way. You said you had something to show me. I brought you here to show you this. This looks like a charm of some sort. My mother gave it to me when I was a child. This will keep you safe. May it see you through any storm. She was right. It brought you here. I wish I'd met her. But now, I don't need it anymore. Natakas! I can't promise I'll always be here, but I'll do my best. And I'll do mine. Here he comes. Here comes my big man. Elpidios is hungry. Well, he's had a big day out with his grandfather Darius. Elpidius can stay up a little later. He needs his rest. He's had too much fun today. I should come with you. We'll be fine. Say bye-bye, Elpidius. <coughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement of living on the road? Or do you enjoy the quiet life? It's too quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm used to the growls of stalking wolves, blades being unsheathed in the darkness. Dime is just too quiet. Enjoying being a grandfather? Children are wonderful, but to love so deeply is terrifying. Don't spoil him too much. Too late. This is it, Darius. A 
simple life. Elpidios! Elpidios! Who is? Has anyone seen my son? Artabanus, Cassandra, welcome home. Orondas? You are with the Order. He is the Order. Amorgus. I trusted you. Helped you. My friend, it's been far too long. We were protectors, Amorgus. Champions of the people. This is wrong. This is necessary. I take no pleasure in this. I needed to draw you in. It's you I want, Cassandra. You and your bloodline. Don't you dare touch them! Cassandra, go! Get Elpidios out of here. We'll leave together. No. I will make sure the Order can't catch up to you. There's too many. You don't have to do this. We've no time to argue. Go! Think about the child. I love you, Natakas. Father, come back to me. Keep them safe. Promise me. I promise. Just a bird, but I'll check. Atakas, and Vilnius, hold on. Get on the boat quickly. Father, come back to us. Where is the eagle? 
physical battle. I'm the child! It's me you're after. Here I am. Face me, dog! Amorgas, did you see him? No. The beach. You promise to protect them. You promise to keep them safe. I should have stayed behind. I sh should have been with them. I... It's my fault. I did this. We're supposed to pay for our pasts, for our mistakes, not our children. There's no sign of Elpidius. But he's still alive, that is. I know it. If the Order have him, we can find him. The Order think they know pain, but I will teach them. They think they know hurt, but I will show them. They think they know fear, but I swear to you, Natakas, I will bring them terror. I'll find our boy. I'll bring him home. Trust me.
Cassandra. By the gods. Oh, I am sorry. The Order did all this. This weaponry they brought would make even Ares turn his head. There's only one place in the Greek world that makes anything like it. Messenia. They came for us. For me. If the Order is in Messenia, that's where I'll go. I thought I'd find you here. Count yourself lucky. I didn't mistake you for one of them. What are you doing in Messimia? If Elpidios is alive, he's with Amorgus. And Messenia is Amorgus' stronghold. Looks like you figured that much out on your own. But it'll be hard to find him. He's too well insulated. There must be a way to flush him out. I have some ideas. Amorgus has the entire Spartan army at his back, led by some of his most trusted commanders. It will be tough to get to him unless we weaken his forces. We can do that. The Order has a large production line for their weapons. There is a commander behind it all. Start by speaking to the Ilotes. They might know where he is. Also, the Cult of Cosmos is reinforcing the Order in Messenia, and an Order commander, Democratis, is in charge of seeing that through. If we cut him down, the Cult will no longer be in our way. I'm good at culling the Cult. And there's one more thing. I've heard that the Order has captured an Athenian general. He is integral to my plans. You will need to free him and give him this letter. And then I get Elpidios. Tell me more about Democratis. Amorgus put him in charge of the Order's dealings with the cult. He's well known, but he seldom makes public appearances. This is a rare opportunity to get to him. This Athenian general, what do you want with him? If we free him, we will have a powerful ally. Where can I find the Ilotes for information on the commander? In Epia. That's where all the weapon manufacturing happens. I'll get it done. We'll strike them hard and fast. We? Oui? It will be faster and more efficient if there's two of us. Getting Elpidios back is my top priority. I'll tolerate you until then. Good. The feeling is mutual. I've wasted enough time here. Come back when you finish disrupting the order. There's more to be done.
Hello? Someone there? Thank you, Mistios. Oh, you my life, Mistios. May the gods watch over you. Saved me! Thank you, Mistios! Have you seen the Elot named Rodi? Yes, she was taken to the center of Epia! I heard she's going to meet her end there! The town center? I should hurry. Shut your mouth! That's what you get for taking what isn't yours! Your death shall be a warning to them all! I don't care who the food belongs to! We were hungry! If you're here for the show, I think you'll have a clearer view from down there, with the rest. Who are you? I'm here for this woman. Ah, she got caught stealing from the kitchens again. We're under strict instructions from the commander to ensure that stops today. I need her alive. Release her and no one gets hurt. There's a price for everything, Mistios. We'll need Drachmi to replenish our food supplies. I'll pay for her. <laughs> well then, it seems that I forgot about the extra cost for our troubles. Torture is hard work, you know. Double it, and I'll give her to you. Hades, don't give him a single Drachma. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Take your payment. Actually, there's... Don't push it. Okay, okay. Take these filthy malakas and go. That was close. Thanks, Mistyos. Good thing you came along. Bye. Wait! I'm looking for the commander. I was told you know something about him. The commander? Oh, I know him all right. <laughs> Brings back fond memories. I used to work for that Malakas. This commander sounds terrible. He's ruthless, Mistyos. He would work us till our hands were red and raw, and we'd bleed and cry until dawn. Even the children weren't spared. Which is why I have to pinch food when I can. It's never enough. You were lucky I arrived just in time. How did you get caught? They caught me stealing one loaf of bread and sentenced me to death. So what if I stole from them ten other times? It's too much! Too severe! Point me to the commander, and I'll stick my blade through his throat. You're looking to kill him? Mm hmm Great. Things are happening in Messimia, Mistios. 
Look at how we're suffering, how the children suffer. There must be something better out there for them. I have a plan to get the children away from here. My son and the others. Help the children and I'll help you. I'll help, but it'll cost you. What? You would ask for Drachmi in a time of crisis such as this? Amistheus has to eat too. Fine. I'll give you whatever I have. <laughs> Mostly breadcrumbs. What's your plan to get the children out? We have a fisherman nearby who is being paid handsomely for the job. We need to take the children to his boat near the docks. But we need to leave soon. Time is almost up. Lead the way. Follow me! Mater! Hello, my little pebble. No time to talk. We need to go. Now. Who's this? A mysterious friend. She's going to help us get out of here. All right, everyone. Matter says to follow the mysterious. Stay in the group so we don't get lost. Stay in the group so we don't get lost. This is serious. Why do you stay that way, mysterious? Do you have a hero name? A hero name is a code name only the greatest, bestest heroes. It is usually a combination of a cool animal and the weather. Tell her your hero names, children. I knew I would find you here, Eagle Bearer. You caught me. They were right. You're always at the center of the chaos. Now. Why don't you step aside and let me do my job? I'll deal with you. And you after I take the children away. They have work to do. Leave the children out of this. <laughs> I'm going to have fun watching you drown in your own blood. Time to die! You choose one for me. It's time for you to go, little pebble. You're... not coming? I can't. I have to stay here and work hard so I can visit you one day. No! No! Where's my mother? Where's my mother? <laughs> I can't be without you, mother. Who will hug me when I have a bad dream? Mistyus, I... I'm not sure. Now that we're here, I don't know if I can bear to send them away. <laughs> don't make us go, please! You have to go. Mrs. 
Sinia is crawling with danger. It's not safe for children. But what about our parents? What will happen to them? They want what's best for you. Now go. The boat is waiting. Kere, my pebble. Things will be better for them out there. You're right. If the children stayed, I don't know if we'd be able to protect them. I hope they have a better life ahead. Better than we could have given them. We will always fight for our children. Always. And you got your commander. Thank you, Mistyos. May our paths cross again. was talking about. What are you doing here? Rescuing you, if you keep your voice down. This way! What do I call you? Call me whatever you want. I'm in a hurry. Right, right. It's these Malakis Spartans. We desperately need to loosen their grip on this region. Will you help us? At the moment, I'm not a big fan of the Spartans. Or their friends. The Persians. You know. I know those scared Spartans are richer than I've ever been, and should have run out of resources years ago. I was told to give you this. Uh huh. It seems we have common enemies. I can help you and your allies with your plan, but to do it, we must kill the Spartan leader here in Messenia. What's so special about this particular Spartan? He is a butcher. He's killed more Athenians than anyone, and he takes joy in it, I tell you. We know his location, but my men and I haven't been able to get close to him. You'll find it easier with me around. There. That's his fleet. Ah, oh, his fleet, you say? Bastard! Much That Spartan dog is just a memory now. You did it? Couldn't have done it without your help. Of course. So, about the letter you gave me? I'll need you to live up to your end of the bargain, if you want the Persians out of Messenia. Uh, you can count on our help when you are ready.
That's the meeting place. What do you know about this man in Amorgis's inner circle? Democratis. Drachmi is his weapon of choice. If we kill him, the Order's ability to influence the Greek world will be severely damaged. His death will bring us one step closer to Amorgis. To Elpidios. I like Drachmi, but it can't buy the kind of edge my blades provide. Not when I'm driven to find my son. There's only one problem regarding Democratis. What's that? I don't know what he looks like. Then we'll have to listen closely when we approach. If anything goes wrong, remember, it's Democratis we're after. The order has arrived. You're late. We arrived precisely when we meant to. Remember, once Democrati shows himself, we kill him. Or we can kill everyone. Assuming you brought what we need. Huh? We're not sure we're giving you any more. What was that? You don't make that call. This is the way it's always worked. Provided Rakhmi, we have the weapons, the Spartans, and the war. You get what you want, we get what we want. was right. How far the cult of Cosmos has fallen. The value we've given to this alliance I'll never understand. I should kill you where you stand. Think very carefully about what you're about to do. God strike you down, Democratis. God strike you down. You just keep paying and we'll keep our end of the deal. This meeting is over. So we continue the arrangement? Democratis! That's him. That's Democratis. Democratis is dead. They deserve to die for what they've done, Darius. Every last one of them. Cassandra. They're between Elpidios and me. Yes. We've weakened the order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. What are you doing here, child? I have a note for you, Eagle Bearer. A man in a mask told me to take it to you. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to?
Eagle bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, Eagle bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yergis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Dime. Dime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. The smallest doubt can destroy the greatest confidence. And we all have doubts. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I want to learn more about you. I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies, then, if you prefer. I've written many stories scattered across the Greek world. I spread the word of our doings, of our heroic deeds. Heroic? You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Nero. The Order sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral peace. Our work is eternal. Naka! Look around us. Such promise. You must be wondering Ella. why we hunt you. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, oh, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. Have you noticed? Danger is drawn to you like vultures to a battlefield. And so, we simply cannot allow you to exist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? You disgust me. You're not the enemy. Have you considered yourself? In our eyes, you are the manifestation of turmoil, disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge, Cassandra. There are many perspectives. Whoa! We've arrived. Ah, oh, look at that view. Messinia. Quite a beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I know what happened in Vime, how Napakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Oh, so we thought. Until we heard a cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft but unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidius. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist them. It was futile. The baby was all that remained. I will find Amorgis. I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy. 
people die, Cassandra. Eventually, we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who helps others in need. Hmm, insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? Leave. Before I change my mind. Your baby. Elpidius, he is safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Cassandra. The next time we meet, will likely be the last. Natakas, Elpidius, I'm sorry. That is. We meet again, Eaglebearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus' guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? It's... Nothing. If Amorgus is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. to find the boy. It is.
Where is Amorgus? The mines! But you'll never get around his defenses! I'll crush his defenses, and then I'll kill him! You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgus that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here, at his door! You tell him I'm coming for him, for Elpidios! And I don't knock! Go! I'll take care of the order guards. I need to get to the mines. I'll take out as many as I can on the way. Be here somewhere. You can't hide from me, Amorgis. It's too quiet. We meet again, Eagle Bearer. You know this can't end well, Yeris. Just walk away. It's not that simple. Amorgis has orders and I have duties to fulfill. And I have no intention of walking away, Cassandra. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgus awaits you in the temple. Amorgus is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgus has nothing to do with it. Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Yeris. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified? For the greater good, Cassandra, all things are permitted. <laughs> it 
didn't have to do this. Radius, I'm almost there. Oh, my son, mother's coming. Calm, aren't they? Moments like these. The moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Cassandra. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Think about where we're going, Amorgis. This path can only end in one place, unless you tell me where to find my son. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I can't do that. I once swore to the people I loved I would crush the Order. Believe me, I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> the Order's plan goes well beyond you, Cassandra. What? Ever the hero, thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written... by us. We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. How could you think I... I don't want a war. I want my son. You don't want a war? You brought one to my door. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus, I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost, Amorgus. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? 
I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting her raise him. Remind me, old friend. All the Order's power. They could not protect you. Not from me. We must protect the people we love, Amorgis. That's what I'm doing! rises, but she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors, Amorgus. We were champions of Persia. Of the people. I still am, our Hobanos. I only wanted to keep our home safe. The world safe. The child of Orcus, please. He's on a small island just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Cassandra. You and your boy will always be hunted. And he will always have me to protect him. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. Not by blades. But through knowledge, through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother to stop them.
If Amorgis was true to his word, Elpidios will be there. Mother's coming. Just a moment more, Elpidios. Hold on. Watch over my son. Every day, every night, Amorgis made sure of it. Thank you. You know, he has a real Spartan appetite. <laughs> Tell me about it. Mother's got so many stories to tell you. Oh, and you've got some stories for Mother too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes? You know my father? We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. Time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. was right. I am fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And... What will you do, Darius? The Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy, Cassandra. Be a guardian to Arpedios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his matter, <sighs> what should I tell him? Tell him he had a mother, and a father, who lived incredible lives, who saw incredible things. 
and none of it was as incredible as him. His smile, his love, the sight of him asleep in my arms. Should the day come where he feels unloved or alone, you tell him there is no such day, because he will always be loved. You hear me? You will always be loved. You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down. But you will get up and be this. Because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong. And because we always get up. You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son, and I'll always fight for you. You and those that will come after. <laughs>